Hey guys, welcome back to Petwa, the channel where we explore the amazing world of pets and animals. If you love pets and want to learn more about them, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. Mini Golden Doodles are generally classified as healthy dogs, however, this breed is not immune to health issues. This mixed breed inherits diseases as well as health problems from the Golden Retriever or Miniature Poodle parent. Thankfully, the majority of the conditions that affect Mini Golden Doodles are curable, or they can at least be minimized when diagnosed and treated early. Thankfully, Mini Golden Doodles are not prone to too many serious health issues, however, there are a few that should be mentioned. A lot of these diseases as well as conditions are genetic results of faulty breeding. 1. Hypothyroidism Hypothyroidism occurs in many golden doodles due to their golden retriever parent. Golden retrievers are amongst the most likely dog breeds to develop hypothyroidism, which unfortunately makes many golden doodles susceptible. Due to hypothyroidism, the production of thyroid hormones is decreased, which can cause the dog to gain weight, lose its fur, and have limited activity levels. Unfortunately, there is no cure for hypothyroidism. If your mini golden doodle develops the disorder, the dog must be treated for the rest of its life. However, the life expectancy of the diagnosed mini golden doodles will remain the same if they are treated. Treatment for a mini golden doodle's hypothyroidism is known as thyroid hormone replacement therapy. This treatment requires the dog to take medication on a daily basis. 2. Hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is quite common for mini golden doodles. This health problem is more common for larger golden doodles, however, it's not unusual for the mini breed to develop it. Hip dysplasia is a skeletal condition, a disorder that has many causes, it can occur due to several reasons, some of which include malnutrition or can also be rapid growth. Mini golden doodles can develop joint conditions typically around the age of 1 to 2 years old. Hip dysplasia can present itself early on, and many older doodles do suffer from severe hip dysplasia. Common signs of hip dysplasia condition are limping accompanied by limited movement in comparison to usual activity levels. There are several options available for treating this condition, physical therapy, corrective surgery, joint supplements, etc. 3. Von Willebrand's disease. Von Willebrand's disease is a bleeding disorder. This is characterized by the lack of Von Willebrand factor protein. The von Willebrand factor is what helps in stopping the bleeding, thus, the disease is identified by excessive bleeding. Oftentimes, affected mini golden doodles have prolonged menstrual flows or sometimes even uncontrollable nosebleeds. This disease is inherited from the golden retriever parent. To treat von Willebrand's disease, a blood transfusion has to be performed. Injuries that produce bleeding must be treated with bandages. 4. Ear Infections Ear infections oftentimes appear in mini golden doodles. Frequent allergies unfortunately increase the likelihood of ear infections. Ear infections can be painful for the mini doodle, you will likely notice the dog begin to scratch at the infected ear, or there might be excessive amounts of head shaking. Fortunately, ear infections can be cured easily. A vet will cleanse the dog's ear, removing any bacteria. If required, medication will be prescribed for some time. To prevent any sort of ear infection, dry the mini golden doodle's ears after they have been in the water. Moisture will increase the likelihood of an ear infection. Mini golden doodles naturally enjoy playing in the water, which prompts frequent ear infections. In order to reduce the chances of having an ear infection, dry their ears immediately. 5. Progressive Retinal Atrophy Progressive retinal atrophy often occurs in mini golden doodles, this disease will make your mini golden doodle go blind over time. This gradual blindness is inherited, it most likely originates from the poodle parent. As of this writing, there is no cure for progressive retinal atrophy. There are ways to attempt to postpone complete blindness, however, these methods have not yet been deemed effective. Once your mini doodle has the disease, blindness is inevitable. If inherited, many golden doodles will lose all of their vision by the time they are 8 years old, with the symptoms showing at age 5. 6. Patellar luxation. Patellar luxation occurs when the kneecap becomes dislocated while the knee is flexed, this is common amongst small dogs, thus, many doodles are at risk. The issue with this condition is that the knee becomes further damaged. As your dog gets older, patellar luxation can cause excessive knee injuries. 
When small dogs develop patellar luxation, they are seen walking around with their elbows lifted up. This is to avoid using this limb whenever possible, which is the clearest indication that something is wrong. Patellar luxation can be treated with either physical therapy or surgery. 7. Allergies. Allergies are not only exclusive to humans. Dogs experience allergies as well, and so do many golden doodles. Allergies occur in dogs very similarly to how they do in humans. All the same precautions and measures should be taken when trying to treat a dog for allergies. Avoid exposing your dog to anything that causes irritation. Allergies can cause your dog to have digestion issues, swelling, and even itchiness. Allergic reactions can happen because of something they ingested or something your dog was exposed to. In most cases, allergies are not fatal, however, they should be treated. 8. Elbow Dysplasia Elbow dysplasia is common in golden retrievers, it is also transferred down to the mini doodle. Early signs of elbow dysplasia disorder can be seen when the dog is just a few months old, however, this is not likely to be diagnosed until your doodle is about 5 years old. Owners notice elbow dysplasia when the dog is unwilling to participate in usual routines and when the length of exercise deteriorates. In most cases, many golden doodles who have elbow dysplasia need surgery. If the owner or the vet notices this disease is caught early on, this treatment is not yet deemed necessary. That's all for today's video guys. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below to let us know what you'd like to see in our next video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload from Petwa. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.